What's up, guys? Welcome to Monday night, and um, tonight is going to be cat choice. I got a new puppy today, and he is uh, very adventurous, and he's a little biter. He is uh, nibbling at my ankles and my toes, so he's playing with my other dog. Hopefully, he stays away from everything else. I'll show him to you in just a minute, but welcome to Monday night. First off, I'd like to thank Dean over the Live Place, www.thelifeplace.com. Dreamers Empire and the Live Place on YouTube. Make sure you go check out Mario Star Show as well as uh, over 110 other shows. Check out my partner channels, Mouse Talk, who goes live on Saturday or I'm sorry, Tuesdays tomorrow with Dissanity at uh, eight o'clock, and then he goes live with me on Saturdays for Sports Night at eight o'clock as well. <laughs> there he is. I'm sorry. And then we've got uh, Rob Fuzz who goes live on Fridays at four o'clock. Uh, my brother is the, the Disnack crew. They go live. We go live every Wednesday at 9 o'clock. We go uh, – Chef goes live every Saturday at 9.30. Zip goes live on Tuesdays at 6.30, and tomorrow he's got a special show where he has uh, Corey Meets World joining him tomorrow. So make sure you go check that out tomorrow at 6.30. Um, and then uh, Brandy and Dave go live at 5.30 on Tuesdays with Party of Two. Make sure you go check them out. And Disney Dan goes live on Saturdays with Disney Fiasco on <laughs> at 7 o'clock. It's going to be hard to concentrate tonight. I'm sorry. Uh, welcome in Bill Pitts, Mary Spence, Nathan Reyna, Jack Sandy Claus Logan, Super Disney fam, 2Gs, Bill Stephan, Captain Akron 27, G. Wilson, David Stevens, AJC Magic TV, Samantha Lowe, Mickey Fan 71, a.k.a. Lisa, Kadani Sean, Gary B., K. Atwood, Andy J., Joy S., Christine Hickman, Carkey, James Ryan, Grim Grinning Tracy, Jersey Mike, Thena Amazing, uh, Mouse Talk, what's up, buddy? Uh, and Mouse, talk, ow, Mouse Talk is one of my partner channels. Um, Mickey, uh, Mickey Fan 71, AK Lisa, Wendy Lou, P. McDevitt. Thank you all so much for being in here. Is that the baby crying? It is the baby crying. Yeah, he's he's under underneath there. Ow, there he is. He's under here somewhere. Um, Tina McNeil did not name my puppy Toaster. Uh, did not name him Toaster. We'll get to that in just a minute. Nick Gates, what's up, buddy? Uh, sharing our Disney. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Blue Nose, what's up, brother? Thank you for being here. Judy, welcome in as well. Uh, I think I got everybody. Addiction Mouse, Ryan McDowell, Rob Fuzz, what's up, buddy? Uh, Dreamer Deborah, Julie C. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I know we're at Zort TV One is live. Tatum has a new friend, um, and he is underneath me somewhere. There he is. So I went today and got uh, – been waiting on him for a while, but I went and got myself a new little friend, and – he is making my other dog very jealous. But guys, this is my new puppy. This is a German Shepherd. Yeah. He. And uh, he's a cutie. He is the most playful one. We went and picked out a, a I, I actually got two. I got one for my sister who wanted one. She wanted a she wanted a uh, girl. She wanted a girl. Okay, you can go play it here. You can go play. Anyway, she wanted a girl, so I, I went down. Uh, Zip, what's up, brother? Thank you for being here. And again, guys, go check out Zip tomorrow. He will have Corey with him um, at 6.30 tomorrow, so go check him out. My dog is a biter. The new one is a biter. He is. He was biting my ankles and toes. He's biting my other dog's ankles as he walks around. It's kind of funny. Katie Cuck, welcome in. Uh, Shelly Deerdorf, welcome in. Michelle the Quilter, Rockin' Robin, Angela Minter. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, <laughs> yes. But uh, Avery Cuban American, what's up, buddy? Triple P, name should have been Toaster Steven. It is not Toaster Steven. So let me explain how this works when you have a bunch of nieces. Dougie, Walter Grams, welcome in, buddy. Surfer Girl 326, welcome in. Thank you guys so much for being here. Jill DeFour, welcome in. Uh, Marguerite Nagy. Uh, if I missed you guys, Jersey Mike, what's up, buddy? If I missed you guys, please just post again down below. I will get to you. We are going to do chat choice tonight because – I didn't know how. I've actually only had this dog home. I've only had him home for, um, and he's already chewing on this the wire. Uh, I've only had him home for a couple hours, like six thirty, maybe not even an hour and a half. So they're still getting acquainted to each other. It's uh, it's annoying. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's, it's annoying. So if I missed you guys, just please repost, and I will get to you. Corner Sports, what's up, buddy? Um, and. So tonight's going to be chat choice. We're going to just talk about what you guys want to talk about. R. Johns Richard, what's up, buddy? And there he goes again. Hey, come here. Come here. Get off that. He's a biter. He is liking to eat. Um, this is him. 
He is six weeks old. Oh, no whining. He was sleeping right here on this desk all day long. And then now he just wants to bite stuff and get down and play with the other dogs. So here you go. Go play. Go play. Anyways, um, yeah, Mickey's Magic, what's up? Guys, did you get the new puppy from the pound? I did not. So he is the product of two rescues. Um, I got him from a friend, and they, they were both rescue dogs. Sandy Norris was doing, and um, they were both rescue dogs. So I uh, I was uh, got him from there. So Dana Marie, welcome in. Uh, I missed you guys. I apologize. Donna, what's up? I'll show him a few more times. He's just down here chewing on my backpack now and chewing on a bunch of other stuff. So we'll get to him in a minute. So his name, his name, uh, when you have two nieces, I think you should name him Maximus or Max for short. I love Maximus. So my buddy and I went and got the twins. Like they're the two fat ones. They look alike. The uh, The owners called them the twins. <laughs> He's just laying on his back now. They, uh, they called them the twins. They just, uh, they're just, I don't know. They're the biggest ones of the bunch. And, uh, and he's a whiner, unfortunately. My other dog doesn't even talk. He doesn't bark. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't barely makes, barely makes noise at all. Steve, cute puppies are totally chick magnets. So I hope you take nice long walks. We will definitely be going on nice long walks. Um, his name is Shep, you think, huh? Well, that would have been a good one. Viapri Project, what's up? They just turned on my lights. Hey, get out of there. What? No, quit biting that. Anyways, Noah, what's up, buddy? Go. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. Um, I should have put him out in there. Anyways, guys, he. I have nieces. My nieces, uh, yeah, no one named dog after Shep. My nieces named this one Tatum. So anybody want to take a guess at what they named the other one? Javi Princess, welcome in. Thank you. What are you chewing on? You know what? There's nothing under there he can hurt, um, except my toes. So, unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately, whatever you want to consider it, my dog, Shep's naturally wine. <laughs> uh, yes, Wendy Luhu. That is correct. My nieces thought it would be great to name him Channing. So now... When I get on the back porch and I yell, Channing Tatum, come here. <laughs> it's uh, that's what it is. So I have a Channing and I have a Tatum now. Julie C, welcome in. Inspirational. Thank you for being here. Uh Dean Amazing. Yeah, I don't even know what he's doing down there. But uh, so guys, my name is his name is Channing. So my buddy and I were gonna name him Zelda and Link. That's what we want. His is the girl, mine's the boy. His was going to be Princess Zelda. Mine was going to be Link. Um, then we, Timothy Rainwaters, what's up, buddy? Uh, then we were going to name it, uh, well, then then our call signs for Top Gun are Goose and Iceman. So we were going to name them Goose and Iceman. Of course, his wife said no to both of those. So my buddy went with, uh, we used to watch a movie. I don't know, Meg. I don't know. What My my buddy, Karen Cook, what's up? Um, he got sucked into Josh talking. Josh is uh, Josh can talk, but guys, he can really talk. And Josh is fantastic. Uh, he's up for the, uh, the position to, <laughs> to fill in for Zip. So definitely check it out. And buy a pre project. I was starting to say buy a pre project goes live Tuesdays at ten or at nine o'clock. Please make sure you go check out Ed and Mindy. They are fantastic people. Somehow I cannot cross paths with them at Disney. We're going to work on that, but uh, we'll get there for sure. Um, but yes, he is a uh, one is named Channing, the other one's Tatum. That's what we went with. They're, they went with uh, – so, so when we were trying to find out names, that one of the neighbors actually came over and said, what's that movie you guys like to watch all the time? And we couldn't figure out what he was talking about. I had Val Kilmer and this, that, and the other. Um, I can't let my nieces name cats. They would be Sea and Turtle. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, mine is uh, – my, mine go for, like, uh, movie stars, apparently. He's chewing on speaker wire right now. I'm going to let him chew on it. It's not plugged in anything, and it's keeping him occupied. Sea's World should have named it Shep. Then interesting things happened to Shep to sit, <laughs> to tell Shep to sit. Human Shep thinks you're talking to him. That is a possibility. I, I tell Shep to sit all the time. So uh, sometimes he listens, sometimes he doesn't. But anyways, so then I went with uh, this one. And the movie that we used to watch all the time was Willow. So they named theirs Willow. 
and my niece is named mine, Channing. So that's where we're at. Happy Hopper. Thanks so much. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. So guys, tonight is chat or uh, that tonight is um, chat choice. Sorry. Couldn't think what I was trying to say. Forgot to put my phone on mute. There we go. So whatever you guys want to talk about, that's what we're going to talk about. Had a long weekend. Oh, no, you can't chew on my con Xbox controller. Okay, everything else is good. Had a long uh, weekend. It wasn't long enough, but it was it was a fun weekend. So I went tubing yesterday down the Sugar – or Saturday down the – what's it called? The Sugar River – Sugar Creek River? I can't remember. I think it's the Sugar River – Sugar Creek. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know what it is. We went tubing, and it was an all-day event, and we loved it. So you're going to need all the chew toys. Look, I got him chew toys. He can't chew on these. So my toes and speaker wires are what's uh, sacrificing right now. So um, I agree the weekend wasn't long enough. Never, yeah, never is, never is whatsoever. So Friday, um, yes, Triple P. Triple P goes live before me, guys. Make sure you check out Triple P. It's got a fantastic channel. We're going to do a collaboration soon. You can see all the nice, pretty Lego. You can't see them all. You can only see this first pile. There's a big pile over there too. Josh and I are going to do a collaboration coming up soon on um, on uh, Lego. So we're going to do some Lego chat and put some Legos together. You saw the voting is ended. Was that was that ended or was it today? I thought it was tomorrow that it ended. Let's see if the voting ended. Um. Oh, we got. Oh, it ends in three hours. Oh, no, it says this poll is finished and can no longer be able to vote. So let's see what the results were. Well, you guys can go have to check the results. I'm not allowed to say them out. But there is some interesting, uh, interesting, quiet, there's some interesting uh, votes on there. So make sure you go check out the vote. It does say it has ended. I thought it was supposed to end tomorrow, but apparently I was wrong. Did I get the job? Ryan McDowell says, Ryan. You have to wait and see. <laughs> so, Steve, do you think Disney is beginning to make money now in the parks? I'm concerned and hoping they are making money. So I, I don't know. <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know if they're making money yet or not. <clears throat> they are certainly trying to find ways to – sorry. Trying to find ways to bring in revenue. Do Philly Crew, what's up? Thank you for being here. They're trying to find money ways to stream revenue for sure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why they're, they're doing the whole uh, Mulan thing on Disney+. Plus. Because Disney is taking a massive hit now. It's not going to hurt them completely. Come here. Come here. Come here. See if I can get him to stay up here. He likes to lay, by the way. There he is for those of you that are just coming in. He's a little cutie. He, is, he was the most playful one that they had. Here, just lay my arm. We go to bed. And he's been laying here since I've been home, laying on this, on this desk with me. Not going to do it now. Okay, here. Go back down and play. So, anyhow. Uh... He looks like a bear. He does look like a bear. So, all right. Hang on one second. I'm going to let him out. Come on. Here. Just go outside. You guys go out there and play. Nope. He's not going now. He wants to play with me. daddy -o, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Um, anyways, guys, you volunteer to play. Yeah. He's awesome. So, are his eyes blue? They oh, they have a blue tint to them. They don't look like it when you put them up in here, but they do have a blue tint to them um, around the outsides when, when he's in the sun. So go play. Anyways, Surf Bum, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Katie Cook, yeah, his eyes are amazing. And he does kind of look like a, a baby bear. I, I like him uh, a lot. Hopefully he doesn't tear up anything in there. So I was trying to keep him in here to uh, do that. Hannah Anderson, oh, my cute puppy. But – my, that's like having a new baby in the house. It's worse than having a new baby in the house. New babies don't move as much as he moves. He is, he was timid when I first got him here. Didn't want to play with my dog. Kathy Parlapiano, welcome in. Didn't want to play with the other dog. He was nervous. And now they're like biting on each other and chewing. He's, he keeps biting my other dog's ankles. He's going to be like twice the size of my dog here in about five weeks. So it's going to be awesome. Uh, big Disney fan, welcome in. Thank you for being here. So... But yeah, so I, don't, I think Disney's starting to finally make money, but I don't think it's enough money to recover what they've, you know, it's not anything what they've been at. They're not going to recover. Um, they're not going to recover their losses by any means. They're finding other ways to to uh, 
to bring in revenue, but it's it's not going to be enough for a while. Uh, it, 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 they're going to have to wait till they're back at full capacity. Now they have downscaled things. How old is Tatum? Can he keep up with little? Oh, Tatum is still a huge ball of energy. I believe he is six. So um, yeah, he's got uh, sister Gigi. Welcome in. He definitely they can definitely keep up with each other for sure. Kathy, I welcome in. I did get a new puppy. For sure, it is uh, it is a uh, German Shepherd. So it's Eastern European German Shepherd. I don't know what that means, but that's what they told me. So uh, it's an Eastern European German Shepherd. Next dog has to be Magic Mike. Oh, <laughs> no, Meg. Uh, nieces are done. I no more. No, nieces are not naming dogs anymore. Uh, I really liked Link. I wanted it to be Link. Um, so, but that's that. I got shot down. My own dog. I can't even name my own dog. Um, I might call him Link as a nickname. But anyways, guys, what else? Do we, what would you guys like to talk about? Um, the floor is yours. We've got uh, Disney News with Mulan. Mulan came out. I have not seen it. I'm not going to see it. Um, Kyra Brunette. Is that? Oh, man. I it, I'm going to mess that up. Kyra Brunette Rico. I hope I said that right. Welcome in. Welcome in, Kyra. So, uh, but... Mulan came out this weekend. I haven't, uh, isn't Chef in fact part German? Chef's part everything. I have no idea anymore. Uh, Link is a cool name for dog. I thought so too, Meg. I thought so too. I was uh, denied. Denied. I don't even know why I asked anybody else. I just, I, I really liked it. So um, Mulan came out over the weekend. I did not see it. I'm not going to see it. Um, oh, wait a minute. Those are, hey, hang on. <laughs> hey, get out of there. Nope. Get off there. Okay. Hang on, guys. Go You guys stay out there. He was chewing on the cords to the lights. So that would have been... That would have been really bad. But would you have gone to see it if things had been normal? So I would go to see it. 100% sure, for sure, I would go to see it. Um, yeah, I know. I can't wait till they start standing up. I would definitely go to see it. <laughs> this is a stream of Steve chasing tiny pup. Uh, I would go to see it for sure if it was in theaters. I have no problem paying it, but I'm not paying $30 to watch it on Disney Plus here for three months because it comes out free December 4th to everybody else that has Disney Plus anyways. So I don't see a purpose in paying 30 bucks for three months. What celebrity would you like to spend a long weekend with at WDW? Um, that's a good question. What celebrity... Hmm. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Marshmallow Man, what's up, brother? Disney Nerders, welcome in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that one. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm waiting for December to watch it for redo. There's a lot of celebrities I wouldn't mind watching it or going to WDW with. Um, I guess, you know, he's not really that big of a celebrity. Neil Patrick Harris, that's a great answer right there. Neil Patrick Harris would be a phenomenal one to go to Disney with. Um, who else would it be? Um, I was, I've always been a fan of Jennifer Aniston too. So I would say male would it be Neil Patrick Harris, female Jennifer Aniston. That's who I would go to Disney with. Um, yeah, yes. It's great to see everybody in here. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, oops. I, I just hear noises in the other room and I'm not enjoying what I'm going to find when this is over. Um, I'm hoping that there are no cords or anything. He loves cords. I don't know why he loves cords, but he loves chewing on cords. Uh, oh, Stamos is a good one for sure. Um, Corey Meets World uh, had a chance to actually meet John Stamos at uh, Disney at uh, D23. Mary M Y, just like kids, patience, lots of patience. Congratulations. P.S. You won't sleep tonight. Oh, I'm aware. I'm already aware. 100 for sure. Um, has Channing Channing howled yet? Channing has never howled. He barely whines, and the only time he whines is when somebody's at the door. Somebody rings that doorbell, he whines a little bit. He doesn't bark, and he does – oh, wait, I'm sorry. I misread that. That was – you said Channing, didn't you? Yes, Channing whines a lot, <laughs> and he has howled a couple times. Tatum doesn't bark. Faith, Disney, uh, Faith Hope, and Disney, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Um, so, yes, he has whined. He has howled a little bit. Um, yeah, I never sleep anyways. That's That's also true. But he has uh, he has given out his little uh, whimpering. Now today you got to remember too. Today today is the first time that he's been away 
from uh, his family. So we're going to keep going back every weekend, though, for a while so he can slowly get accustomed to it. So we'll see. Josh Gad would be a blast in the parks. Absolutely, Karen. Josh Gad is hilarious. Um, he would be a fantastic one. Um, I'm going to go by... I'm going to go by Ryan now. Triple Ryan. Hmm. Triple P is going by Triple Ryan. Mary Kehoe, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Um, but yeah, guys. My dog used to chew on cords, too, when he was a bit puppy. There's some kind of bitter spray. So I, I'm after this stream's over, I am running to uh, the store to get all that stuff. J Real Slots, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Um, so I'm getting – there is a bitter spray to get. I'm going to get the bitter spray and spray everything in the house. Um, he needs a new pillow, which I'm sure he's going to tear up. Um, I need to get a, a doggy fence so I can kind of keep him when I'm, uh, when I'm away, I can, you know, keep him in a certain area where there's no cords and everything else. So we'll see. We will see. But yeah, he's going to, uh, he's going to be a handful for a while, I think. So, but what else you guys want to talk about? We have uh, this weekend was Mulan. We talked about that, which I'm not going to pay for. Ryan is common and uncommon at the same time. That is absolutely correct, Ryan. When my main, when my main coon was a kitten, he loved to chew on cords as well. Yeah, it is. I've never had my first dog did not chew on anything. Didn't whine, didn't chew anything. I had him potty trained within two weeks. He's just he's incredible. Didn't do anything. This one's going to be a handful. Uh, this is going to be a big handful for sure. I got my Lego Mario set. For, for, oh, nice. Congratulations. Uh, Jack Santa Claus Logan. I've got, uh, I got some Mario sets back here. I have the Nintendo, which you can obviously see right there. Then I have, um, the starter packs over there. You can't see a bunch of little sets Then I got King Boo's yard and I got the Bowser castle. So they are all back there that I'm going to put. I was supposed to put them together this weekend and plans changed. We went tubing and, uh, Adopting dogs instead. Um, so Disney Nerders, my first dog's name is Tatum. My niece is named. They thought it would be very fun to name this one Channing. So they are named Channing and Tatum. Those are my dog's names. Cayenne pepper and water in a spray bottle will do the same trick. Nice. That is a good uh, good to know for sure. Um, that um, It's amazing for a beagle. They are very independent. My He was a runt too. So he was a uh, surfer girl 326. I hope you're doing well. He was my Tatum was the, the runt, the beagle. He, he was very shy. Didn't do anything. Matter of fact, when I took him to the dog park, he, um, he would, he would go play a little bit. Like he was to be a little bit adventurous. And then if another dog would come at him, he would run at me and hide underneath my legs. So it's going to take him some time to, uh, to get there. Mike Wheeler, welcome in, buddy. Your next dog has to be Matthew. So you have Channing Tatum's full name. Well, I did not know his name was Matthew, Channing Matthew Tatum, but I'm not going to tell my nieces that. So because that would be uh, that'd be bad for me. Uh, yeah, Beagles are the best. He he is. So I love German Shepherds. My sister has had two uh, of them, and uh, they're just they're amazing. And then. Um, the one I really want though, my, my dream dog is a, an English Mastiff. I want one that's as big as a horse. Um, I know that's a lot of work, but, uh, but they're, they're amazing dogs. I love, them. I want to be able to, uh, just run out with him and just have some fun. My German shepherd was extremely destructive. She found a marker. Oh no. Ink all over the carpet. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Grim Grinning Chasey. That's uh, that's pretty. Uh, I look. I've got a carpet cleaner. I know. I, I it's going to be needed. I've got all the spray. I've got uh, you know all the cleaning stuff. I'm going to be spending a lot of time cleaning my carpets. I have no doubt about that. Mastiffs are amazingly gentle diet diet giants, but the slobber. Ooh, now, see that is one thing I don't like is the slobber. So uh, I'm hoping this guy doesn't slobber much. Tatum does not. Uh, Addiction Mouse, I knew his middle name because it always reminds me of the CMT Awards. Oh, nice, Mike. Steve, you will have trouble renting an apartment in Florida with two dogs. Not the same rules in there. I am aware of that. I am aware of that indeed, but I don't plan on renting. I plan on uh, buying a house, so we'll see. Um, you petted an English bastard last week. That's awesome. Would you go on a date with Jennifer Aniston if she wanted to eat Spanakopita for dinner and you have to eat it too? Yes. 
uh, Jennifer Aniston is my uh, is my celebrity crush. So yes, I would. I would do whatever she asked me to do. If social media isn't your thing, cards. Oh, thanks so much, James. You're awesome, buddy. Thanks, Steve. Thank you for all your prayers and support. I'm slowly healing. That's awesome, Surfer Girl. Thank you so much for uh, being here. Glad to hear that you are doing better. Corey meets world. Welcome in, brother. Thank you guys, or thank you so much for being here, buddy. Yeah, I had to put the puppy out there. Uh, it's been a rough stream already. He bit my ankles. He uh, he's he's just been all over the place, and he started chewing on the cords to the lights, which you know about how important those are. So I vote naming the dog Mister World. Oh, I'm gonna have to rethink the dog's name. So Corey, you'll appreciate this. Um, first off, my nieces named my other dog Tatum. So they thought it would be fun to name this one Channing. So they want to name this one Channing and Tatum. But I was having a really rough time with him getting him in the car. And I finally didn't know what to do. I kept telling him, just be quiet, just be quiet. So I turned on the radio, and the Backstreet Boys were playing. And as soon as he heard them, complete silence. And we were, we did great. We I, I took him a long, lot of different ways today because I had to take him from – I took him about 40 minutes to my buddy's house. Then I had to take him 40 minutes to my parents' house about 40 minutes back and then all the way back up to my house. So he's been in the car a lot and he did really well, was complaining a lot. But when he heard the uh, Backstreet Boys come on, instantly quiet. And then I uh, just left the radio on for him and he was happy. I think it was just music, but it just happened to be the Backstreet Boys. That's the story I'm going to tell because it worked out. So, um, yeah, so he is, uh, he likes the music. Uh, Brittany Morgan, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I love the Backstreet Boys. I'm not going to lie. I love the Backstreet Boys. I thought they were awesome. Loved all the boy bands in the in sync and the 98 degrees, O Town, all them. I, I I appreciate music. I thought they were pretty good. So I was into the uh the boy band craze. We missed our dog Wiggles, had to put him down last month. He was 17. Oh, do Philly Crew, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, it is pets, guys. If you treat pets the right way, um, they become part of your family. They they are 100 percent part of your family. Um, they're amazing little children. Sometimes they get frustrated, just like you were children. They frustrate you, whatever. They're uh, they're they're part of your family. So when you have to say goodbye to one of them, it is it is very rough. <coughs> Excuse me. Next time, Steve, you should try playing playing a Channing Tatum movie for him. Well, I'm not sure about that. We'll see. Um, I'm a low key in sync fan. Nothing wrong with that, Ed. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um. I thought I was going to see someone throw up on YouTube. Whoa, three up. Why? Why throw up on YouTube? Because that is not entertaining at all. Um, I have a 100-pound Doberman. He scared off someone this week that tried to break into my house. Wow. You made him a roast today, Mary. That is incredible. Yeah, dogs are awesome. And, and German Shepherds are very protective. But if you do them, if you if you treat them right. Uh, train them right. I'm sorry. Treat them and train them right. They're going to be incredible. Absolutely incredible pets for you. Very safe. You just got to do it the right way. Uh, Tim Pruitt, what's up, buddy? I am well. I hope you are doing well as well. My JoJo has been the best nurse to me. Oh, that's awesome. The only difference is I've never stepped in my kid's poop in the front yard. <laughs> Corey, uh, that is true. That is true. Um, I, uh, I am ready to expecting to go out there and have to already redo my redo my carpets. I know it is. I thought you were going to chuck after eating Spanakopita at Epcot. That is true. I thought I was too. But like I said, Corey's no Jennifer Aniston. If it was Jennifer Aniston, I'd eaten the whole thing and just pretended I liked it. Ryan is talking about you, Steve. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when Corey had me eat that crazy food. Corey makes me eat a lot of food. Some of it's really good. But it's just like that toss-up because some of it, I can barely keep down, but some of it's fantastic. Like I really liked the Brussels sprouts and the collard greens that we had at um, Art Chef Smith's and some of the other things. Did not like the deviled egg. Did not like Spanakopita. Pretty simple, but it was. Uh, but I am learning to uh, try the new things. AJ McLean from the Backstreet Boys is competing on Dancing with the Stars this season. I saw that Lauren McDowell. Thank you, Lauren McDowell. That is uh, Ryan McDowell's uh, wife, the better half of Ryan McDowell. Nice to see you guys. Hope you guys are having a fun time down at Disney. But you know who else is I saw on Disney, uh, Dancing with the Stars? Carol Baskets from the Tiger King. So not sure how she got on Dancing with the Stars, but she's there. Um, he's super emotional, sucking on a blanket all week. Oh, he definitely loved the roast. That's awesome. But at least he was there to help protect you 
uh, to, to from you know from any intruders. Um, bye bye bye. Look, I'm not gonna. I, I, I like NSYNC. They were great. Justin Timberlake would turn out to be obviously one of the best entertainers around. Uh, you know, it's just they're boy bands. It's where it's all at. It's where you, it's what we grew up on. You're excited about it, Steve. Don't lie. I'm excited about a lot of stuff, but I'm not sure which one you're talking about, Josh, because there's a little bit of a delay. But I am excited about a lot of stuff. Uh, as long as the robbers don't know he's a softy, that's yes. Mine loved trick or treaters. She loved kids, but would growl at a man. She had good in in instincts. Yeah, yep. That's uh, that's a very protective uh, protective dog. My parent, my brother, my sister uh, has a German Shepherd right now who does the same thing. He doesn't like anybody but them. Perfectly okay around every them, about any of them. Oh, Carol Baskins. No, not excited about Carol Baskins whatsoever. And I'm not excited. About, I didn't like the uh, Tiger King. The Tiger Kings in the past, we don't need to talk about it anymore, ever again. Um, I'm irresponsible when it comes to having pets. Uh, it, sometimes people are. It's not for everybody, but uh, for me, I love them. Um, I'm very nervous, what, again, when I'm getting ready to go in there and find as soon as the stream's over. But uh, but we'll see. We'll see what it is. I think Tanning, Channing needs a his bed lined with boy band theme blankets. He'll eat them. You forgot a boy band, New Kids. Oh, yeah, New Kids on the Block with uh, the Wahlberg, Donnie Wahlberg. So... New kids in the block were there. Um, yeah, they're all, and he's a he's a movie star now. I have to say, my cat is pet part guard dog. She watches my dad like crazy. I think she would attack anyone who would hurt him. That is amazing, Kay. Uh, yeah, cats. The, pets are very um, protective and defensive when it comes to their family because you are part of their family, and it's just one of those one of those things. You you, you know, it's you got to make sure you have the right pet. You got to treat it right. You got to make sure you love it. And if you're not ready for that, don't accept the pet because they need a place uh, with to be treated like a like a child. You want to treat them like one of your own kids. And uh, if you do that, though, the reward is going to be far greater than anything else. Uh, get that new baby a bison bone that will keep him eating the bone. So I got him these things. He's too. He's too. He can't even eat this. This is. Uh, it's not really. It's rawhide free. Not exactly sure what it's made of. I think it can, I mean, I can bend it pretty good. So, but it's peanut butter, um, chicken and milk flavored. Don't know who tastes these to make sure that's what it tastes like. But uh, yeah, absolutely. Chris, no problem. Check out Chewy.com. I've heard of that. I think in that, isn't that a, um, a, a mail order? I think you can do mail order, um, mail order food and, and, and toys and things like that. New Kids on the Block is still hanging tough. Nice, Rock and Robin. <laughs> Chimpkin. Yeah, could be. I don't know what it is. Um, mine are, mine like those Elkhorns too. Yeah, so I'm not, I, I, he's going to be, he's going to get massively big here in the next few weeks. So I'm not sure exactly what to feed him yet or what to, to let him chew on right now. Apparently it's electronic cords, but uh, we'll, have, we'll, we'll find something for him to, to chew on. I think that, I think these are just too big. So I'm thinking about taking these, see if I can unweave them. I don't know if I can or not. Maybe not. We'll see. I'm going to think, think I'm going to unweave these and just let him have, oh, I can do it. And let him have one flavor. These might be better suited for him as opposed to the whole thing because he can't really, this is too big for him, I think. Um, love Chewy.com. Check it out. Okay. Definitely. I'll check out that. I've never, I've never been on there. But I will definitely check that out. Uh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. He just chooses not to. Tina says uh, it is, but they'll help you out with everything. Okay, cool, Chris. Thank you so much. We need documentation every day of this cutie. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, that's a lot. Steve is the puppy king. <laughs> not, we don't need Steven. We don't need to make any other. Uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we don't need any of that. Chewy is awesome. They have been great. Awesome, Kay. Thank you for that. But guys, we have, we, I cannot believe it, but we're already more than halfway done. Before we head on over to Meg, who goes live at 9 o'clock, what, uh, now's the time for you guys, it is chat choice, for you guys to pick topics, he's whining, to pick topics or ask, uh, the dog needs its own Insta account? We'll see. We'll see. I can barely take care of mine, let alone another one. Um, Steve Adventures with Channing Tatum. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to rename that dog. He hasn't got a, he hasn't got used to it. He doesn't know it's his name yet. Um, but I do like naming it Mr. World. I do like that. Uh, he wants to be on camera. He's playing with my other dog, who I'm afraid is biting him back because he is biting my the the uh, the bigger dog. But uh, but anyways, guys, you have the uh, opportunity tonight to ask questions, throw out topics to talk about. How do you feel about the extension of TTA's refurbishment? And Avery says, so Avery, I look, I'm okay with it. I like things when they change. Uh, but Uncle Steve, you can't upset your nieces by renaming it. That's true, Mike. We'll see. Uh, I like things when they change. I think the same thing over and over and over again can get a little redundant. And we don't, you know, eventually things need to change, need to be upgraded, need to be repainted, whatever the case is. And I'm a fan of when they do it. So, Jim, more sunshine, please welcome in, Jim. Thank you for being here, buddy. I'm a fan of when they do it. So, this the TTA, from what I understand, they're refurbing it. They're, they're putting in a uh, a better track system or, or the best, something to do with this track system. I'm not sure if it's the magnets or the track or whatever, but everything's going to be upgraded. And now is the perfect time to do it when the attendance is low. Yes, we want to ride it. I get it. We want to see Resort TV One ride it on their streams on Fridays and Corey streams on Thursdays, but we, they need to be upgraded. They, 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 you can't just let it go. Otherwise it's going to break and it's going to be not have a very good, um, uh, and it's not going to be a good ride experience for you. I want it to be upgraded, painted, whatever. And now's a perfect time when uh, fewer people are there. So that when they open the floodgates and let everybody in, it's available for everybody without having to go back down. Uh, they are not allowed to change the tiki room. I wish they would change the tiki room. Uh, it's good. Don't get me wrong. That's one. Of, that's probably the, the the classic ride I would leave the same the longest for sure. But I actually liked it when they threw in uh, the Iago and Zazu under new management. I thought it was great. So I, I, I like it when they put the Disney characters in there. I'm a, I'm a guy that likes the, um, the uh, IP. I, I think it should be pretty much in everything. Um, so I liked it better when it was under new management. But uh, it is one of those, the song and everything else can remain the same. It's a, it's a fantastic ride. So um, it would be the one I would leave the longest. Is Shep working on the Tiki Room? Shep's working on everything all the time, apparently. Seems like the parks have been busier this past week, but uh, do you think things are improving as far as attendance? Um, I don't know if they're improving because Disney still sets the limits. So Disney says whatever it is, if it's 15%, 20%, whatever it is, Disney has those limits. Now, on the flip side of that, um, the they, they've been selling out of their, uh, their the reservations they had. Recently, within the last few weeks, They've upped those. They've been giving out more reservations. So I don't know if they're not hitting their whatever percentage they set or if it's, you know, now they're starting to raise those, but they've been allowing more annual pass holder uh, park days out there. So some of these annual pass holders can start to get better and more uh, visits to the park. So it's going to be interesting. Carousel of Progress needs some attention. I agree, Katie. I wrote it this past trip with Corey. Uh, and uh, or I'm sorry, it was, I think it was the trip before that with Corey and uh, Josh from Resort TV One. Um, it's 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 a little sl I don't know. It's a long ride. It's a really long ride. It's really slow. It's a good way to beat the heat and get out of it. It, it the animatronics are uh, old. It's it's a good <laughs> turn through history. But the the difference that people fight for that thing though, regardless of how good or how bad it is, is that was Walt's baby. He took that to the World Fair. It was, you know, it, it is nostalgic. It is historic. And I get that. It's not the greatest thing in the world. And, yes, it needs updated. I think the scenes need changed. But as long as they honored Walt's concept, I think it would be okay. But I do think everything needs to be updated and, and, uh, and upgraded for sure. I think the red buckets, uh, the redo, I think the redo buckets, they need to redo the buckets closer to the dates. I get you. I think it's slated for an update, but it's probably been delayed for sure. Love Carousel. Just wish they would update it. Yep. New seats and better sound. The sound, the audio is pretty, pretty terrible in there. They could definitely update that. So Steve just said he likes IP thrown into rides. Now let's hear his opinion on that. If the rock goes into the jungle cruise, well, for the rocks, not IP. He's not Disney IP. He doesn't belong there. So goodbye. The rock don't like him. He needs to go. 
How about the uh, figment rework rumors? So I've heard they're going to, I've heard rumors that they're going to redo that. Um, I love figment. So I've heard rumors that they're going to change it completely away from figment. I've heard rumors that they're going to upgrade it with uh, a new still figment theme, but a new thing. I'd be okay with either. <clears throat> I think figment needs to have a place at Disney. I think he's uh, it's pretty incredible. I like the figment ride uh, journey into imagination, but it, it, it's uh, I, again, everything needs to be changed at some point in time. So um, it, it just needs, you need to keep people coming back. You need to keep people, all people happy. However you do that, then uh, you know, that's, that's up to them. Uh, his tequila Terra Mana is really good. Who's I, I already. Oh, that's not, you're not talking about figment. Uh, Disney needs more cast members monitoring proper mask wearing. So when I was down there, they were uh, they were pretty good. Oh, I missed your puppy. Oh, Corey, Stephanie, and the girls were here. Just watched Mulan. It's very good. Oh, awesome. Can't wait to see that Corey's mom. Hey, everybody, welcome in Corey's mom. Corey's mom is amazing. Um, obviously, the mother of Corey Meets World. Uh, she's just, they're just such an amazing family. I'll get my puppy for you. I'll get my puppy one more time. Hang on. Come on. Come here. Bring him in here. Anyways, uh, Steve needs a dose of sass, sassaparilla. Sassaparilla? Sassaparilla? I don't know what that is. Isn't that like a honey type thing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Not you. Oh, one of them. Oh, no, they're all wet. Which means, go away. <laughs> this is new puppy. He is soaking wet, which means they've been fighting in the uh, in the uh, the water bowls out there. But uh, this is my little puppy, and he's a cutie. So you're soaking wet. Why are you wet? Just lay down. So, uh, oh, it's the not exactly the best soda, old fashioned root beer. Yeah, he's he is awesome, Corey's mom. He's he's such a cutie. He's whining. Here, eat this. Want that? But uh, he is soaking wet, so they've been fighting out there in the water bottles. So, yeah, it is just water. I can I can uh, see. And I want <laughs> Here, get down. Here, go play. Go play. Go play. Go play. Here. Anyways. Uh, yeah, his paws are gigantic. For he is uh, six weeks old, which is is crazy. That his his paws are huge, and the the pads on the bottom of them are are pretty massive too. They, I guess they look. So uh, yeah, they're they're they're. He's a pretty awesome dog. I love that thing. As soon as I get him trained, it'll be awesome. Um, my little Jasmine, she's a long haired miniature dachshund. Da yeah, and she just turned two yesterday. That's awesome. Um, he was born in July sometime, but, uh, but, uh, he's awesome. I like him. I love dogs. They're awesome. You'll be the best of buddies. Oh yeah. The three of us. Uh, well, those two, if I can keep them calm, they're going to be good. Max Duke, Rocky, Lex, a couple of name suggestions have to leave new football draft starting. Oh, good night, surf bum. Thank you, buddy for being here. Um, Will he be going to puppy kindergarten? He will. So there's a place uh, near me that uh, one of my buddies' neighbors suggested. He's a retired canine police officer training dog. So he uh, trains uh, he trains dogs, especially specialized in German Shepherds. So I am going to um, take him to him, and he is going to help me train. Now, I train Tatum myself, and um, he does very well. But – I'm going to let the uh, the professional do this one because those obviously the German Shepherd's going to be way bigger. He will be floppy, or he'll be he will be floppy with those paws for a little bit, but it'll go. Yeah, when he walks outside, I, he, he still stumbles. Uh, it kind of threw me for a loop because I was like, "You're old enough, you know how to walk," but he's he's still learning how to run. He's he's starting to gallop across the floor. So, um, she is sometimes uh, she is sometimes she reminds me of a lady of lady from Lady and the Tramp. Oh wow. Taylor named her Jasmine Flower. That is awesome. So I let my dogs, uh, or my nieces name my dogs too. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Ch Jasmine Flower is pretty awesome. 
I got Channing and Tatum. So that is uh, that is where I'm at. Oh, he isn't. He's just laying down here next to my feet. He's tired. So let's try to figure out why the other dog won't leave. Now I know. But, uh, but anyways, guys, we have 15 minutes left. Most important question. Will there be a Steve Channing and Tatum Sugar Plum Fairy contest in the future? I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Um, and Corey's mom, I was talking earlier too. Uh, he was really not happy in uh, with with everything that was going on when I was driving. I had to drive him like about 40 minutes one way, take him to my parents' house, take the other one to my parents' house for 40 minutes, brought him back 40 minutes, and then back up to my house. And all that whole time he would whine. When I finally turned on the radio, the Backstreet Boys were on, and he instantly went calm. So uh, he he likes the Backstreet Boys. He'll fit in really well here. You have a pug named Mushu. That's awesome. How old are your nieces? Are they Magic Mike fans? No, I hope not. One of them is 14, uh, and the other one, it, the 14-year-old is the one that really named him. I have a 14, a 13, and then I have a 6 and a uh, 3. Steve could possibly have the two coolest partners. Oh, yes, Mouse Talk and Rob Fuzz. Go check them out. So, um, so anyways, guys, like I said, we have 13 minutes. Anything else you want to talk about? Any other questions you have? Um, I will say that I read something else that Disney is changing, and I already forgot what it was. I put it on. Um, let me see if I can grab it real quick. If you guys haven't seen it, please go check out the uh, ThisNet website where we had the voting for the replacement for Zip. Uh, oh, that's what it was. Two other things. So number one. Uh, Polly is closed. Polly has been had Poly, the Polynesian Resort has delayed their opening. They were supposed to open up recently. Now DVC is still open. Stacy Rogers, welcome in. DVC is still open, so that is a good portion. But they are re not refurbing it to Moana. They are doing a Moana inspired refresh. So they thought, they thought yes, that's what I'm, exactly Kate. The thoughts about the change in the Polly. So, um, Pete Davis says I start Wednesday. I don't know, Pete. We'll see. Um, so they had um, – they're doing a, a Moana-inspired refresh, which means they're just kind of upgrading rooms, changing some decorations, things like that. They're not really – oh, they pushed the TTA to November now. It was late October, and now it's going to be late November. So yeah, you can still get your Tonga Toast, but you have to walk through from the TTC. You, DVC is still open. All the, most of the restaurants, I know the Tambu Lounge upstairs is open. I know Captain Cook's is open. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think Ohana is open yet. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But they still have some things open, but they're they're uh, refreshing it. And then the other thing is that I put on the uh, website is also that uh, Robert Downey Jr., who plays Iron Man, has said that if there is a reboot or if there is a like a another Iron Man story in the you know in the past that. Uh, he will not be coming back to reprise the role of uh, Iron Man, which is pretty sad, actually, because he's uh, pretty he's pretty uh, good at it, good for sure. But he is officially – Kona Cafe is open. Okay, thanks, James. He is officially done as uh, Iron Man, unfortunately. So but that is where it is. Um, and then I was looking it up here. I saw – was it Chris that said – Something I saw that the uh, the contemporary got evacuated, and I'm honestly not sure exactly why. I was going to look it up real quick and see what happened. It was late last night. Um, okay. Uh, I don't care about that. I just want to know what that happened. Okay, so the fire alarm went off. So they evacuated contemporary. There was no fire. Um, no fire in the Bay Lake Tower, but the alarm has us all nice and awake. Breakfast at the Wave in like five hours. So it went off right in the middle of the night, and there was no fire. So I'm not sure what happened. Somebody might have pulled a fire alarm. They are not saying exactly. So, um, But it was a false fire alarm, and apparently it woke everybody up. Uh, Katie Cuck, they're not turning the Polynesian into Moana. 
it's a Moana inspired refresh. So they're like, when they say refresh, they're basically like um, upgrading decorations, things like that. And they'll have, they'll include some Moana into that. So it used to be Lilo and Stitch. Now it's kind of be more towards the Polynesia, uh, towards a Moana. Steve, I think I may be slightly dyslexic. I just asked Ray to put the clothes in the dryer into the washer. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, Stace, that's uh that's uh that's going the wrong way. No news on the future of Black Panther yet, but the comics have been setting up Cherie to take over as Black Panther for a while for a while now. Yeah, so there was always a um, there was always a path to replace it, just like Captain America. Um, there there's some people that think they'll CGI it. It just the for the next movie. He did some filming, I think, for the next movie. He was in in filming. But the, the big one's going to be going forward. What do they do with the new Avengers re reboots and with the new um, the new Black, pa Black Panther reboots? What are they going to do? Um, but he Chad Bo Chadwick Boseman was an incredible Black Panther for sure. So, um, Dale, what's up, brother? Where is the puppy? The puppy is laying right here. I'll grab him. He's sleeping finally. But we will grab him and see if we can let him sleep up here. Here he is. He's still a little wet. They were having a little water fight with their their uh, um, water dishes. So here, just lay down. Lay right there. There you go. So he is really cute, and he does like to lay on me, so really cuddly. Um, but he is a uh, he is a little he's a little handful right now. I know I'm just gonna have an, a mess out there. Just a, it's gonna be water everywhere. So, yep. He got in some water for sure. Him and the other one were out there fighting. So, but there he is. He's a he's a he's a big one. He's gonna be 150 pounds. He is gonna be 150 pounds. Yeah, the other dog is not happy at all. He's sitting here staring at me like, why can't I get up there? He's uh he's not as calm as this one. That one oh down there, it, over here now, back over there. He is very restless, and uh, yeah. Just put the camera on the dog and we'll listen to you talk. We can do that too, maybe. You know, I think I can do that. Let's see if we get him. There he is. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. There he is. There he is. Get out there. Maybe. There's the doggy. So that is him. So you guys can just listen to me talk for the next seven minutes while you watch him. But uh, how big are his paws? His paws are gigantic. Look at this. They are huge paws, and he's got this big pad on these bottom of this. He's not. He is. He's out. <laughs> he's he's done for right now. So, but that is a uh, that is my my little buddy, my new buddy. The other buddy's behind me somewhere, wondering why I'm not uh, picking him up. Uh, Alyssa Neal, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Great to see you and your baby. Yep, I got him today. I got the call last night actually that he was ready. He was I didn't know he was going to be ready. So there he is. Uh, yeah, he is so stinking cute for sure. Um, yeah, he's got big paws. Your new artwork needs to be a puppy paw print by him. You know, Mike, I could do that. That, that would be awesome. Steve, I have the perfect solution. If Tatum doesn't like his new brother, the VP is still looking for her salary. <laughs> I can't get rid of Tatum or Channing. <laughs> that sounds weird. But I can't get rid of either one of them. They're, they're both my little boys. So... Yes, I see the white tip tail. Yeah, the tail's just flapping around back there somewhere. This guy, he's he's got brown on his paws. He's got starting got a little bit of brown around his eyes and under around his his mouth. And then he's got a white spot right in the middle of his chest. So, but this is him, and he's still soaking wet. You can see all the wet right here from the uh, from the other one. They were fighting. Fur kids are the best. Yes, they are. So, guys, we got five minutes. Um, we really didn't talk about anything tonight. I apologize for that, but we have five minutes. If you guys have anything else you want to talk about before we head over to Meg and then Pepper Tree Villa is on at 10 o'clock. Um, make sure you check, uh, all the, all the Monday night lineup up with triple starting with triple P at seven. Steve, with all these wonderful dogs come to Florida when you move down. So when I move down, um, this one for sure, I'm going to try to bring that one, but he doesn't travel well. So I got to find a way to see if I can get him down there. Uh, you meant the puppy. 
<laughs> the puppy isn't. No, sorry. This one will come with me for sure. Um, as long as I can get the other one to the beagle to travel, I'm going to try it. But uh, he does not travel well at all. But if for some reason I can't get him there, he uh, my parents want him. So I'm not really sure that I want to let that. But uh, we'll see. I want to get them both down there. Just don't let him chew into that Disney fund. Oh, Ryan, I, I can already tell he's going to be expensive. He was chewing on my lights, and you know they're not—they're not cheap. So he's a—he's—he's uh, he's going to be a handful. I'm going to have to watch him close. So, um, yes, there is Meg's channel, guys. Here in four minutes, we're going to go see Meg. But uh, I want to start by telling you guys, thank you so much again for everybody coming out. I know Josh is live. We hit over 100 again tonight. You guys are absolutely amazing. Medication to knock them out. I've heard about that, uh, sharing our Disney. Um, I, I got to research, but I don't, I don't need to do that right now until I lock down the house and everything else and decide when exactly when I'm moving. But um, appreciate you guys coming out each and every week. You guys are absolutely amazing. I, we didn't even talk about anything. We just, again, just showing the, the little doggy. But uh, we got some weird noise coming from your side, Steve. Oh, was it my phone up against the uh, – is that better? Might have been the phone up against the microphone. Um, I think we're going to need a photo shoot with a new baby for your Disney Dates with Steve promo campaign. That's awesome. Steve, has anybody been forwarding music to you? Actually, no. But I, to be honest with you, Neil, I haven't been bugging anybody for it. Uh, Corey shares a lot of it with me when I'm with him. But, uh, no, they have not been forwarding it to me. But at the same time, I've not asked anybody for it yet. Uh, does anyone does anyone else hear a static noise? So, Stacy, hopefully the static's gone because the phone – I put the phone right next to the microphone, uh, and now it's it's moved. So hopefully the static is gone. Um, let me know if – make sure it's gone. So that's not – yeah, Sorry. When you take uh, one electronic, this this microphone does not like anything else up against it. So, chewed wires equal static. <laughs> He's going to be big enough to be on the safari. Yeah, Dale, he could be one of the animals on the safari for sure. Okay, just making sure. Sorry, guys, that would have been the phone. My bad. Pamela V, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's my new little buddy. Good night, Corey's mom. Thank you so much, guys. We have two minutes. Uh, I'm not hearing static anymore. Okay, good. We have two minutes before we say goodbye. Please put my start putting my um, please start putting Meg's link. Yeah, look at those paws. So my buddies, we, we, when I had him over there, he this one laid on the floor. He just went straight to the floor. Kept putting him on the pillow bed, and he wouldn't want to sit there. His sister would lay on there, and then her head would just flap over the side of it and lay on the floor. And then he just slowly started to uh, to slide down. Lee and Sherbrick, welcome in. Hi, goodbye, Courtney Rainrodes. Thank you for being here, but guys. You all are absolutely amazing. I greatly appreciate uh, you all being here. Don't forget to catch Zip tomorrow at 6.30 with uh, Corey Meets World. Corey Meets World will be on the channel. Don't forget to check out Brandy and Dave tomorrow as well at uh, 5.30 with Party of Two. Mouse Talk goes live at 8 o'clock, and Viper Project goes live at 9. Make sure you check them all out. What breed or breeds is he? He is a purebred uh, German Shepherd, Eastern European German Shepherd. Um. And then uh, no problem, Leanne. Yeah, no no problem at all. Hope you have a fantastic time. Stay safe. Um, yeah, he is. He's a little cutie. So, guys, go check out all the people tomorrow. Check out all the people on Monday nights. Make sure that you uh, are subscribed to them all because uh, you get to turn on that notification. You know when they go live for when they do pop-ups and other things. He has a bit of elephant in him. He might, Dale. He might. So Jonathan Chong, welcome in, buddy. Thank you for being here. But we are just saying goodbye, everybody. Please put in my Meg's uh, link. Appreciate you all being here. You guys are incredible. And from this little guy, who's been a handful today since I've had him, um, and come see Pete in his new position Wednesday at 9. Pete, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Wait and have to see. So will you say hello to our special friend, Gregory Springer? Thank you. Welcome in, Gregory Springer. Hello. Hope you're having a fantastic night. Guys, it is 9 o'clock. Everybody, please head over to Meg's stream right now. Mods, please put it in there one more time. Hope you all have a great night. Love you all so much, and thank you for being here. We will see you next week, guys. Everybody have a fantastic night. Goodbye. <laughs>